So, yesterday I had to go get a faucet because the one on my sink broke while I was washing dishes. So I decided to get this single handle kitchen faucet with a pull-out sprayer. Now I live in a RV. This is of course made for a home, but they're, they're the same thing. They still fit into the same three-hole sink that you have at home. It's the same thing. All right, so what we're gonna do now, of course, is just open it up. All right, let's just see what we got here. Huh. Yeah. Of course, I knew it was plastic, but you know, for $40, what do you expect, right? This will fit. Yeah, exactly. That's just just your basic. Well, it looks like I have to put it together. There's the nozzle, the pull-out nozzle thing. The hose. Yeah, pretty good length. I don't think I want to be pulling it that far out of my sink. Oh, what do we got here? Something. It's heavy. I bet it's some sort of brass. Oh, it's, it's the weight that you put on, on this. You know, so that it'll retract itself back down. All right. It's pretty basic. I thought it was pretty basic. I might have to take something apart here. I didn't look at the instructions. Of course not. I'm a guy. We don't look at instructions. We just do things. Might not be the right way to do it, but that's what we do, right? Oh, there's a couple of screws in there. Let's look at the instructions. <laughs> well, it doesn't, doesn't show to take that off, but... I have to, huh? There we go. Press it like that. Oh, duh. There we go. Easy peasy. Helps when you don't have it turned around backwards. Teflon tape will not be necessary. Something wrong with here, folks. Oh. Simple, easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Those together. Like that. And that's just gonna sit in there like that. And of course, once I string it through the sink, I'll put this weight wherever I need to put it to keep this going to pull back in. And that will be a video for later. Okay, and so here is the sink, or excuse me, the faucet installed. There. Got that. And then, of course, it pulls out. That's as far as it goes because of that uh, thing I had to clamp onto the hose. There's not much room underneath my sink. I'd have to actually cut the uh, 
I'd have to do some cutting underneath there to make it so that that line could hang even further down. But this is fine for me. I'll sit there and do all the stuff I need to do. Oops. <laughs> It works. Mounted easily. No problem at all. Yes, it's plastic, but it's a lot better than the one that was in there. And there's no way I was going to spend a hundred and some odd dollars to put a um, faucet in this travel trailer. All right, so I've been using this faucet for a few days now, and just like anything else, it's just a faucet. I've encountered no leaks, and I just hand-tightened everything. And, you know, it's working fine. So, for $40, I don't think you can go wrong. Especially if you're living in an RV, or if you're on a budget, for that matter. Um, it's a faucet. It's a faucet. That's all I can really say about it. So, uh, yeah, like and subscribe, please. I really appreciate it. Thank you.